Hey guys, I'm a forester here with another brief video about a purchase that I just made. Now, there's not going to be any suspense because I'm going to show you right now what it is. It came in the mail yesterday and you can see it's a platinum pen, platinum fountain pen. Now, this particular pen did not come with a converter, so I had to get that converter separately. It comes in this sleeve and there's the pen box right here. I'm not going to do a review of this pen. It's more about the purchase than anything. But there it is in its pen bed. Let me give you a close-up look at it. Now this is the Platinum 3776 Century Fountain Pen. This one is black, of course, with gold trim. And it has a medium nib. And I'll just show you the nib. There's that beautiful nib right there. All right. So, I've watched a number of reviews. Let me just set this down right there. I've watched a number of reviews about this pen, and I thought it'd be a nice workhorse pen for me. Now, I'm going to use it for several weeks, and then I'll bring you a review video later. But this video is my story about the purchase. And I'd like your input and advice in the comments below. I'll give you all the details about the prices and the dates and the company names. So I'll name names. This story begins back in March as I was shopping for the 3776. The one I wanted was wine colored, or as they call it, Bourgogne. I also wanted a fine nib. Now the standard price at U.S. online retailers is $176 for the Begonia and $240 for this pen in black. All the pen reviewers that I watched said to buy it directly from a Japanese retailer. They said it would take longer to arrive, but it would save a significant amount of money. Okay, here's how it begins. On March the 25th, I ordered a 3776, this model, in Bourgogne with a fine nib from a company called Endless Japan. The cost was $73.70 and it was supposed to arrive in four weeks. Okay, I waited the four weeks and I was counting the days. Amazon contacted me after four weeks and they said that it was lost and that I could request a refund if I wanted to. But I really wanted that pen to come and I figured it might arrive just a little bit late. So I decided to wait longer. On April the 30th, Endless Japan contacted me and asked me if I would please wait two more weeks. I decided to continue waiting to do them a favor and I still had hopes that it would arrive. I had already paid for it, but I wasn't in any rush. On May the 10th, I finally decided to ask for a refund and Amazon paid it immediately. There was no hesitation. Okay, it's now May the 31st and the pen still hasn't arrived, the Bourgogne one. However, on May the 29th, two days ago, I decided to order from another Japanese vendor, Future Station in Japan. I ordered this pen, the 3776 in black with gold trim and a medium nib this time in case the other one comes in later. So if it did come in later, the Bourgogne one, I didn't want to have two pens of the exact same. So they'll, they'll be different in color and different nibs. That one will be fine. This one will be medium. Now I paid more for this one. I paid $104.99. But here in the U.S., this pen cost $240 standard at just about any retailer you go to. All right, it arrived yesterday on May the 30th, and that's one day after the day I ordered it, and I've been riding with it this weekend. I paid $31 more than the first pen, but I saved $135 from what I would have paid if I'd bought it here in the U.S. Okay, now it's your turn. How do you feel about ordering directly from an overseas vendor? This is the very first time I've even tried it, and I would say the results weren't all that great. Are there any tips you can offer the rest of us for how to minimize the risk and frustration? 
I hope you'll comment below and I'd also appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Y'all take care.